Hey, what's good, y'all? Fusion here, back with another reaction video. Um, tonight, oh, we're going to be reacting to the Pelicans and Warriors game. I just got done watching it uh, maybe maybe an hour ago, something like that. 20, 30 minutes. Uh, spoiler alert, uh, the Warriors suck. Uh, they need to make big changes. Chris Paul was out, uh, so the second unit was definitely struggling. Whatever. Uh... Draymond Green supposed to be coming back. Honestly, bro, let's just go over just the summary just real quick about what went on, like the team comparisons, three-pointers, all that type of stuff, just real quick. Uh, so, New Orleans, so New Orleans hit 19 threes out of 40. Uh, they shot 47.5, about 48%. Warriors, 12 for 39, 30.8. Um, assists, New Orleans got 37 assists to 24 from the uh warriors close rebound numbers 47 43 uh, new orleans up on that fast break points 14 6 new orleans up on that steals 11 to 4 new orleans up on that blocks 7 to 4 new orleans up on that as well um offensive rebounds warriors warriors were up 14 to 13 and defensive boards, 24, uh, excuse me, 34, 29, New Orleans up on that. And points off of turnovers, 15 for New Orleans, 24 for the Warriors. Uh, so that was just the game stats just um, by the teams there. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and talk about these players. Because this Warriors team is, I'm going to say it, this Warriors team is dog shit, bro. It's really bad, really bad. Steph, 15 and 6, 4 for 13 from the field, 3 for 8 from the 3. Uh, he saw 31% from the field, 38 from the 3. Clay, 13. Um, he went 5 for 10, 3 for 7, uh, 43%. But that really doesn't show what he was doing out there. Um, he was shooting horrible shots. He had three tone turnovers. So Kaminga had three turnovers. Steph had three turnovers. Just so many turnovers. So many horrible turnovers. Just from bad passes. Uh, low IQ plays. Um, forcing a lot. High man on the Warriors was Moody. He went 8 for 18 from the field. 4 for 8 from the 3. He was the only one keeping them in the game. Wiggins, he had 5 points. Um, the Jackson kid, Tory. Uh, no, not Tory. Um, gosh, what is his name? Tracy Jackson Davis. Yeah, Tracy Jackson Davis. He had uh 19. He was getting a lot of picking uh role plays off of Clay. Um, he was getting a lot of garbage buckets. Um, some easy shots here and there. He had three offensive rebounds. So he was very active on the glass and you see potential in him. Um, but other than that, it was just a horrible, horrible, horrible showing from the Warriors. And I'm not a Warriors fan. I've never been a Warriors fan. I used to like how they play basketball. It was very clean. Um, a lot of movement, pass and cut, pass and screen, pass and screen away, all of that. It was nice to watch, but that game was one of the worst games I've ever seen them play, and it wasn't fun. Um, but on the flip side, New Orleans played great. Uh, great defensive stops. Um, Ingram had 13, but he wasn't very aggressive. He played 22 minutes. It, it, it was a blowout. So, as you can tell by the score, 144-105, it was a blowout. So, their uh, scores really didn't have a lot of points. But you had 13 from Ingram, 19 from Zion, 21 uh, from Jonas Valanciunas, uh, 12 from Herbert Jones? Herbert, Herbert Jones? I believe that's his name. Um, CJ McCollum had 14. Uh, Trey Murphy had 16. Hawkins had 14. Marshall had 12. So there was multiple people in double digits on that team just from the eight assists from 
McCollum, six from Murphy, and seven from Zion. Zion was very, um, it looks like he early he made a point on trying to get his team great shots, and he was doing that. So, yeah, that's pretty much all of the box, box scores and everything that I saw. Um, well, not everything. Uh, like, the Warriors' defense is garbage. It is very, very bad. Looney, he played okay, um, but he, he 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 was down there by himself. Seven points, seven rebounds. Usually, he'd have seven points and 16 rebounds or something. But without Draymond Green to help get in the way or box out, he was sort of just he was sort of just down there, and I'm not seeing enough from Kaminga yet. He needs to be better, or that team is just not gonna be good. Um, I'm not gonna watch this whole thing. I might watch it up until like the seven or even the six minute, because once you get past like the third quarter, I think that the Warriors just gave up. You see it sort of creeping in in the middle of the third quarter but once the third quarter ends that's when the warriors just gave up and you hate to see it their worst loss well, of the like season on sunday oh. well i like to see it fuck the warriors been a few candidates to that title all right i'm skipping ahead jones another three that's good well they've taken seven oh and they hit i think 12 threes in the first quarter they weren't missing threes uh new orleans and they were really passing that rock around, swinging it around. Uh, pause. Um, I think that Zion um, and CJ and Ingram have a squad. I feel like they need to clean up a little bit. Uh, they need a more defensive-minded, at least one more defensive-minded player on that team. I do think Jose Alvarado is injured. Is he still on this team? Yes, yeah. Or he just didn't play coach's coach like decision. Uh, they don't need to worry about that here, but against like this Warriors team because they sold. But I think they are missing a defensive presence, and be that at the center position, at the power forward position, somewhere else, you need one more defensive guy on your team. Um, be it a big body center who is just there to get rebounds and block shots. If you watch any of my videos, I love those type of players because every team needs that. Not every team needs an extra score or an extra three-point shooter. You will need someone who knows how to set screens, get rebounds, block shots, or alter shots. Shots, all seven threes, and they've hit five of them to open up an 11-point lead. Kaminga fakes the pass, gets inside, falling away, shot is up and good. Curry gets past Alan Shunas, whips a pass. Good ball movement here. Actually, Thompson. He was five of seven from three the other night. My bad, y'all. Got hit with a weak ass ad. It was a TikTok ad too. Drives, gets past Kaminga, floating shot, and banks it in from just straight soft line. touch. Ingram, a contested jumper, goes and gets it. Jones tries again. Murphy on the follow. Now, right now, the Pelicans out hustling the Warriors. He's been this season. They need him to start playing well. He's huge. And it's going to come. I, I, you believe that because everyone talks about how mm. hard he works. Good move. Well, Murphy, another. That was a good little hesitation step right there. Got him up. Extra dribble. I mean, uh, step. Good finish on the opposite end. Um, what you're seeing, interior defense, missing. Rebounding, missing. All this because this dude right there don't know how to control himself. He should be back. I don't know how much he will change, but you need Andrew Wiggins to step up. You need this guy back. And I think you do need to make some sort of move. The Warriors need to make a move. Next, uh, next week, I will be talking about a lot of teams that will be needing to make moves for the um, trade deadline. So make sure that you are subscribed and checking that out. Their basket at the rim. Off the season high in the victory against Sacramento. Oh, good pass. In California. Moody spots up. Connects. Both teams now shooting the three well. We've got a combined 10 for 19. Moody. Sorry for pausing it again. I might not even make it to five minutes, bro. Moody was hitting hella shots. 
they were clean looking jump shots. Uh, Loki was playing better than this dude. So <laughs> bad pass stolen by Nance. Bad pass. That's six turnovers already for Golden State. Good look for Hawkins. Hawkins connects on a three. That's their seventh three pointer already. The ball movement has been excellent. They've got eight assists already coming off a game in their last game where they had 35 assists. Good move. Gets to the rim, lays it up and in. Good shooting game the other night in that loss to the Raptors. Good swing. Hawkins throws it up high off the glass. Jordan Hawkins wanted a foul as well. And they're now down 15 here in the first. Wiggins nearly turns it over. Well, that looked like a travel. Jackson Davis is the shot. Good soft touch on the left. Hawkins, dangerous pass that finds its way to Murphy. Hawkins, little ball fake, one dribble, fires, and hits the three-pointer. In that outside game, nine threes, but you're on pace for one of the most efficient seasons of your career. Career high from three. Pajemski tries to keep it alive, but Williamson comes out of the pack. Missed the last game with a quad injury. He had a good bounce to his step tonight. Another three. Murphy. And sort of... Here is when I sort of felt like the game was getting out of hand. They were rebounding everything. They were hitting every single shot. I just felt like, like the Warriors just had no gas. And you're sort of seeing it with these guys. Just watch how this game keeps going. Um, Again, I'm probably not going to watch all of it. Shit, I might skip ahead right now. But, man. Man is starting to figure things out offensively. He's starting to get a little bit more confident offensively. Remember, he's only 20 years old. Good pass. Feet inside. Curry to Joseph. Ingram, good defense there from Wiggins. Daniels inside, and Williamson guarded by Clay Thompson. Good ball movement again. Nance, line drive, three-pointer is good. Larry Nance is hitting threes, but the game's over. Curry's pass inside. Looney gathers. Looney's supposed to dunk on him. Was helpless there. But Kevon Looney. Good finish. Uh, he did make the one all-star team. Good swing. Jackson Davis, nice cut to the basket. There's Clay Thompson. Finds him. Same play. Looking for an opening. Lobs it in. Jackson Davis again. Same connect. Uh, yes, that's what I was talking about earlier. He was getting really good looks, and I think they were looking for him. And he was able to finish those plays. I can see maybe a year or maybe two years him really like developing into their power forward center. Um, how tall is he? Because you even saw just a couple plays in the game where like his mind is where he has to be. There are plays where mentally he's doing the right thing. I just don't think physically he can catch up yet. But yeah, he's 6'9", 20, 23 years old. You could see him um, really like develop into a solid forward. Because he's athletic and he has a brain. So, <laughs> A couple of guys whose dads played in the NBA. He's going to have to take a tough shot. Thompson slows him down. Just Good gets off in time. Shot won't go. Fight for the rebound. And Jones keeps it alive. McCullum layup banks it in. Herb Jones. No rim protection from the no Warriors again. No defense. And he was getting locked. Moody launches. And Moody. They came at Steph with like double teams. Um, on every on every screen and roll, he was the one who was having to give up the ball. So I think that is what's also scary about this Pelicans team is when they lock in on the defensive end. I think that is when they become an even better team. So adding one more defensive like piece, um, I'd give up Larry Nance Jr. and something else for one of these millions of defensive minded big men out there. That's just my thoughts. Cause like you saw his only play was that three pointer and he's an athletic guy. So him shooting threes, I'd live with that. Hits another one. Moody's four for five from downtown. He's got 12 points. He got a stop on the first possession. Didn't get a lot of stop early in the first quarter. And as the Pelicans scored 46 points in the first. Uh, bucket inside for Kaminga. That time for Golden State. Good take, Kaminga. Pelicans took advantage of that early. Ooh. Four transition defense. Ingram, turn around. Tough shot from Ingram. And that was it's a really hard to 14. shot who's guarding Zion Williamson. KD-like. Uh, Steve Kerr always talks about how strong defensively Thompson is. 
in terms of just overall strength. Shot clock at six. Ingram. Jumper in and out. Fight for the rebound. Thompson. I mean, a couple of his shots were job. in and out. Uh, Ingram. Curry. He was getting good looks. Moody, they just want to call him. Is CJ McCollum delivering it? Yeah. Oh, you know what team that could use a shooter like that? The Lakers. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. <laughs> but the Warriors are hitting all these shits, you know, hyping their team up, and they got 75 points. Yeah, and he's Doing me so dirty. I mean, the, the way he plays, he's in no hurry. Wait, Thompson, he was in a hurry that time, but knocked down the three. I, I actually like him for this team. You know, he's not a dominant elite uh, good pass player, but he does little things he put it right so in his basket oh really good look one for three just three points in 15 minutes ah Daniel roll feet inside Valanciunas has scored the last 10 I like Valanciunas I feel like he is better than people give him credit for um he has a solid mid-range jump shot he, he finishes um he sets strong screens he is a center's center I just I don't know. I just feel like since he is an old school type of center, I feel like he's not going to get a lot of praise for what he is doing. But I like Jonas Valanciunas. Jonas Valanciunas. And now for the Pelicans, the lead back up to 22. Now the Warriors still down 20. Final minute, third quarter. Murphy launches a three. That's good. Wow. <laughs> From way outside. Jackson Davis, count it, and one. Good double clutch there, chance for a three-point play. And this is sort of when it Such an integral part ends. of their 2022 NBA championship. Way off, Nance the rebound. Pelicans just relentless on the attack all night long. Williamson gets inside, lays it up and in. Nothing seems forced with the Pelicans offensively tonight. Just beautiful ball movement, open. And that just sucked the air out of the uh, arena. That was when the game was over. Right there. Just look at him, bro. They don't want to be there. He's getting cooked. Andrew Wiggins forgot his game in, in Canada. I don't know what he's doing. But they need to figure it out. They really need to figure it out. Um, I'm going to go ahead and skip here. And then, yeah. Nice feed inside for Zeller and Cody Zeller with the bucket. Cody Zeller's getting buckets, bro. I had enough. Yeah, I Another turnover. To Look up. To Vegas once, and he had to do every yeah. scout of every game. So that's pretty much all it was, man. Complete domination by the Pelicans. Warriors, you need to clean up your, your roster. Uh, you're missing two of your guys. One of them is a 60-year-old man, and then, like, the other one is an angry donkey. You need to figure it out. Uh, that's all I got for you. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace.